Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yep. Wow. <laughs> Is it? I hope you can hear me. The waves are a little noisy behind me. Uh, we came to the Blue Star Dive Resort today to eat lunch and we figured we might as well do our cost of living while we're here for the month of August. We were going to do it at the, the Alicia Panoramic Park, which we drove to today, but we never could get there because we're working on the road. So we're here at the Blue Star Dive Resort today in Anda. We're going to do our monthly cost of living to live in Bahol, Philippines. You can get no in Bahol, Philippines. But this month of August, we were in, in the U.S. So we had four Filipinos staying in our house to take care of our dogs and watch the house. So this month is the cost of living for four Filipinos to live in Gindom and Bahol. And we're going to compare that to what it costs two Americans to live. So people can see the differences. So the utilities for our house for the month of August was 13,083 pesos, or 300, sorry, 283 US dollars, which was pretty comparable to the other month. Nothing really changed there because the electricity is still being used, the air conditioner is still being used, things like that. Uh, the cost of food for four Filipinos for the month was 21,435 pesos or 390 US dollars. That changed a lot. I'll wear that later on. The fuel for the month was 4,950 pesos or 90 US dollars, which that changed a lot. And then the beer. It was 3,375 pesos for 61 US dollars. That's it? Which, if my <laughs> wife was here drinking, it would be a big difference. Uh, the medical for the month was 3,638 pesos for 66 US dollars. And then for our, our two puppies, uh, their cost was 4,095 pesos for 74 US dollars. And when I convert that to dollars, I'm using 55 pesos per dollar. Which normally, it was less than that, but during the month sometimes went up to 56. And also, there's no rent in there because we own our house. We don't have a mortgage. And uh, we own our own truck, which while they were at our house, they used a motorcycle for their transportation to get around so their fuel was all motorcycle related. The difference between Filipinos and Americans for the utilities was only $6 more used by the Americans. The food difference between Filipino and Americans was $179 US dollars. The Americans ate a lot more food. The fuel usage between them, the Americans used $160 more per month in fuel. And then the beer, my wife drinks $160 US dollars more in beer a month than the Filipinos do. The medical cost was $25 more for the Americans. And the dog cost was $100 more. And that's only because we bought a big bag of dog food before we left for the U.S. But the total difference between us in the month of July 
to the poor Filipinos in the month of August was 630 US dollars more than me and my wife spent compared to four Filipinos living in the same household, using the same electricity, the same air conditioner, the same everything. So it goes to show you Americans do spend a lot more money than Filipinos do to live. But even still, a Filipino living in our house still spent over 900 US dollars for the month. So if you put rent onto that, it'd be well over a thousand US dollars a month. That's for Filipinos who live in the Philippines. So when people are saying they can live for $800 to $1,000, that's you know, and live an American lifestyle, it just goes to show you they cannot. Because if four Filipinos cannot live for, for that, how can an American live for that? So, that's our cost for the month. Uh, the month of September, we're back to the Philippines here, so our cost will be going up to our normal $1,500 a month probably. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.